Jane, the Executive Director for Collaboration Toronto. I'm here with David Choi. He's on a North American tour. He's been everywhere and today he's in Toronto at the Annex Rec Room. So I'm going to be interviewing him today. So without further ado, I want to introduce David Choi. Welcome, David Choi. Yay, thank you. Welcome. How are you doing, everybody? Thanks for having me. I grew up playing violin and piano privately because I'm you know, Korean, forced to play. And then I uh, <clears throat> discovered songwriting at the age of 16 and i uh, been doing that ever since, about 10 years now. Um, I only started doing shows since 2009, mm -hmm. um, but before that I was writing songs and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Here I am. Tell us a little bit about your struggles as a musician, if you had any. Oh. Um, Struggles as a musician, <clears throat> being young. Um, when I got signed to Warner Chapel, uh, I was, I believe, 19, 18 or 19, and everyone else who was in the company, they were like 30 and older. Right. So I had, to, uh, I had to grow up really fast and yeah. be able to communicate and um, just, you know, behave properly in that kind of environment. So, um, yeah. That, that was pretty tough. Yeah. Did you ever have to audition for anything <clears throat> at all? Um, I remember auditioning for Gate Orchestra when I was in elementary school. How <laughs> was that? It was fun. No, yeah. I, it wasn't fun. I hated it, actually. My mom made me do it. Oh, okay. But of course, I thank her now for, mm -hmm. you know, forcing me to play. Uh, I've also auditioned for America's Got Talent once. Wow. Um, How'd that go? I feel really weird being there because I was surrounded by like people who juggled and <laughs> people who like swallowed fire and stuff. Yeah. What do you like about Toronto? What I like about Toronto, of course the Tim Hortons. Yeah. Got the ice cap. <laughs> and this is a, you need this. It's, mm -hmm. necess this, no, no, no. it's a necessity. Um, I love the people. The people are really nice. Yeah. Like even the meanest people in Toronto are <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just love the vibe, and because um, oh, in any place around the world that I've traveled to, it's mm -hmm. more than anything else. It's more about the people. So right. I really like the people here, and they're cool and they're fun. So, <laughs> how has your experience with collaboration been? Like, what have you? Collaboration's been collaboration? um, very helpful and an amazing resource, and just a great show mm -hmm. um, all across the United States. It's a great place to. I mean, the, the point is to empower Asian. Americans and Canadians as well um, <clears throat> to pursue uh, you know, the arts. So um, I fully support collaboration and in everywhere, Toronto, you know, um, I was staying at the houses of people um, from the other collaboration yeah. locations like Atlanta and um, New York and everybody there. So uh, yeah, it's very supportive and it's good to be a part of the, yeah. the network. So I would say uh, to the people who are um, going to audition for collaboration to just be confident, try to be as confident as possible about your material, practice, practice makes perfect, and just do the best you can and, you know, don't let anything stop you, you know, uh, don't let race stop you or, you know, your parents, or I, I would say just do what you want to do, you know, live your dreams. So. so one last question for you, David. Okay. Do you have a girlfriend? I have a girlfriend. So hopefully this video kind of inspired you guys um, for all those people out there that want to audition for Collaboration Toronto. Um, and once again, thank you so much David Choi for coming out and having this interview with Collaboration Toronto. Thanks thank again. You. So hopefully you guys can support David Choi as well. Find him on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter.